Hey dudes, today I want to talk about a couple of settings that you can change in your edit window that's going to help you if you're working on movies specifically. So let's jump right into it and see what I'm talking about. All right, so the first thing that you want to check is up at the top here. I'll just zoom in to where it says grid. You always want to make sure that your grid is set to one frame. And you want to always make sure it's set to time code. All of these other things are not incorrect, but for example, if you're working on a movie, you're not thinking about bars and beats, of course, unless you are composing the score and you're thinking about the music of a movie. But if we're doing sound editing and mixing, we're probably going to want to be on one frame and time code because that's how we measure things. Additionally, your nudge is going to be a great tool. So make sure that you are on one frame and time code as well for your nudge. If you want to check out my video on nudging, you can check that out. Hopefully it's flashing across the screen right now, but it's a cool technique and tool that you can use in Pro Tools. And if you're not set up properly here yet, it won't work exactly how we talked about in the video. Also over here on your transport, if you have bars, beats, minutes, and seconds, anything else like that, you're going to want to make sure that that is also set to time code. So this is just a quick tip basically to make sure that your grid is in sync with the type of project that you're working on. You can change it to whatever you want, but in this particular case, I just wanted to show you what was most common for working on sound in movies. So I hope that you make this adjustment and it works out well for you. Until next time, later dudes.